Hello, everyone. I'm as welcomes you all to our webinar series, The B School Insider, All You Need to Know About Your Dream School. And I'm your host, Kalyani Majumda, for this webinar. So in today's session, our topic is SJM SOM, IIT Bombay, Campus Life Placement Academics. So in this webinar, you'll get first-hand information on the personal journey of the three panelists who have joined us today, from the CAT experience to the selection process, the academic schedule and faculty at the B School, the ROI factor, which is so important, uh, placement process and getting selected by top firms. Find out about internships and how the right internship can get you a great placement. And we'll also give you a preview of the campus life uh, in the photo gallery section. So let's welcome our speakers today. We have Mohit Verma, he's from the second year. We have Jayan Singh Sood, he's also from the second year. And we have Sai Teja Paradhasardi. He is an alumnus from batch 2019. He's a management consultant with PWC. So welcome all of you and thank you so much for being here today for this session. So uh, let's start from uh, your CAT score and interview selection process. So tell us about your SJM SOM experience. How much did you score? How many months did you prepare for uh, the CAT? And anything specific to uh, SJM SOM IIT Bombay? Uh, and uh, what exactly was it that you did in particular that you did to get success? So we can start from Mohit, then Giant, and then Sai. Yeah. So first of all, yeah, thank you, Anna. And yeah, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so yeah, to start with, basically my CAT uh, preparation journey was all about roughly three to four months, right? So I uh, CAT generally occurs in the month of November. I started with CAT preparation somewhere around late July or starting of August. So, okay. uh, and I was able to secure ninety eight point eight five percentile in CAT. Uh, so yes, as far as my journey is considered, it was a very short span of time. So I had to go for a very targeted approach. Okay. So basically, I relied, uh, I relied uh, mostly on the CAT previous year papers, which were a very good hands-on experience on how the questions are being asked. Secondly, I also focused a lot on test series, the SIMCAT, IMS SIMCAT. That was uh, one of my... Uh, Go to channel because uh, whenever I had any doubts, either it was IMS learning resources or uh, basically the SIM card. So yes, uh, what I need to tell that, uh, see, uh, the CAT is it's uh, no longer a two or a three years preparation journey. If someone has the bill, uh, they can also crack it in a three or four months. Okay. Definitely being an engineer, it's an advantage that you have that quantitative aptitude and all. Uh, but yeah, this is one thing. Uh, secondly, uh, as far as some uh, interview experiences considered, so it's quite unique for us. Uh, it was offline experience uh, right before COVID uh, began. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you have to go to the ITB campus irrespective of your location. Uh, it's a three day long process. You're given slots. And one thing that is peculiar about uh, the experience is that uh, you are tagged to us uh, each and every panel in which there's a uh, professor and alum mm -hmm. and an ITB professor according to your engi undergrad engineering stream. So they make sure that uh, relevant questions are being asked to you. And uh, for me, it was a bit on quantitative side. I had uh, around one year of work ex in Tata Power. Few electrical engineering questions, uh, in this, uh, questions related to power industry were being asked and few uh, mathematical questions regarding basic 11, 12 maths, uh, integration and differentiation and Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was my experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Jen. Hi, good morning, everyone. So for me, as Mohit said, that although his journey for CAT preparation was quite smaller, but I prepared for my CAT exam uh, in my final year of engineering. After that, uh, I was not able to score a very good percentile at that time. So I took up the offer that I had in my hand. So after my engineering, I have worked with Reliance Industries Limited for a period of 24 months. So uh, so in my second year at Reliance, I started again with my preparation for CAT and appeared for CAT uh, and appeared. Uh, I also took uh, the test series itself. So I was enrolled with IMS Thane. Oh. So I took uh, I took few test series. One was the IMS test series and second was the time. Oh. 
so these test series i have prepared for around a uh, three i have prepared for around 4 to 5 months okay. uh, using the sim cards and the am cards so after that i was able to secure 98.98.2 uh, mm. during the cat exam so for the uh, for the interview selection process at iit he has more mentioned that we'll talk about the interview bit uh, mohit also covered a little bit so we will yes. uh, talk about the interview bit uh, the next a little bit. Yeah. sure so yeah so cat regarding uh, specifically in cat did you uh, do you have any tips so for cat i would say that uh, the more uh, it it depends person to person so for me uh, my quantitative and logical reasoning was bit on the stronger side because i had a bit of background during my final year preparation okay. so my focus was mostly on the verbal and the reading comprehension part yeah. so these test series and continual anal analysis as in after the exam you analyze that what uh, what mistakes you have done mm -hmm. so that helped me uh, gradually improve my score in the verbal ability section mm -hmm. and also i was uh, daily i was preparing a little for the quantitative and reasoning side as well to mm -hmm. make sure that although it's my stronger side to make sure that it kind of manages for uh, if i lack a bit on the english side right so that was uh, that was my journey, my experience. Okay. Yeah, Sai. Yeah. Uh, my journey towards CAT started a little late. I've I've actually started preparing for my CAT after I took up my first job. So I was always I always stuck to IMS in my first year of preparation. Uh, I couldn't I wasn't able to score crack CAT at my first attempt. But however, I I, I got a few calls from XLRA and SP Jain uh, in that particular year. Okay. Uh, for the second, I, I I didn't get through the interviews or not to the uh, XLR BM course, so I I decided to take it uh, take it uh, another crack at it. But then this time I I was sure that okay maybe uh, unlike the last year, the thing that I could do better is take one specific test series and then stick to it in assessing what I could be better at or what what where else can I improve. So I've been once again a student at IMS uh, taking the test series, uh, only the test series this time. Uh, but then I, I was more, uh, maybe I was more, uh, say, smart enough to identify my strength, uh, my areas of improvement and then my areas of strength and play my exam according to that. So that really helped in cracking, uh, cracking the CAD this year. And I was able to score 98.6, still a little miss in the verbal section, but I would say that's fine the, given the uh, given the variability this exam has in specific. Okay. Uh, yeah, anything specific about to SOM is uh, on a SOM interview is that uh, uh, we talk about the interview in the next uh, the next question will be about interviews. But uh, it's okay. a tip for CAT. A quick tip for CAT is yeah, play play the exam according to your strength. It's not about it's not about just any other exam where you would like to say answer every other question. It's just an exam that you play according to your strengths and and the ones that you smartly uh, uh uh smartly you know the questions that you smartly leave around to the end of the exam uh, so that you have enough time to crack it okay. so the best way to look at it is do the best answer all the questions that you should far sure can that assures you a definite slot for you in in the next steps of the admission process okay all right great uh so yeah so now let's talk about the uh interview and uh, specifically uh regarding som so uh, yeah, Jayant, you can start. Then Sai, Mohit, I think you uh, you kind of spoke a little bit about it, but you can definitely you know add few tips maybe uh, regarding the interview. Also, uh, is it is it like you know all of you are from engineering background, right? So uh, yes. Yeah. So the, is it that um, that for to be in IIT Bombay, some uh, doing an MBA, is it that you know do they prefer uh, only engineers, only people with engineering background uh, for the you know to, for the selection? So yeah, so you can you guys can also cover that a little bit. So Jen, yeah, you can start then Sai and then Mohit. Yeah, uh, interview and uh, yeah, the personal interview. What are the kind of questions that were asked and all that? Yeah. Sure. So, as, men, uh, as uh, many people might have a misconception that only engineers are preferred at IIT Bombay, but that's not the case. So, the requirement here is that 
uh, either you should be having a four year graduation degree mm -hmm. or if you have a three year graduation as in some BCom, then after that you must have a maybe a two year professional course or two year masters. Okay. Maybe an MCom or an uh, master's degree in your respective field. Okay. So that is the requirement for your uh, for your eligibility at IIT Bombay. So as far as the interview experience is concerned, so for us it was uh, an offline experience. Oh. As he, Mohit mentioned that we had to uh, we had to visit the campus of IIT Bombay. Oh, yeah. And uh, the unique thing I would say for the interview experience was that one. Uh, before the interview, be quite before the after the calls were released, we were assigned with a buddy who was from the campus, okay. who was in the who was in his first year, and he has gone through the process so that he could guide us uh, with the uh, he could guide us through the entire process, as in the doubts or the the, the, the misconceptions that people mm -hmm. have. Or any anything they want to ask about the interview, so they have uh, an individual from the from from the next batch was mapped with every in uh, with every interview, and uh, for the process, the panel had uh, had both the alums and the professors who had the uh, who had a similar background. As in, since I am a chemical engineer and have worked in oil and gas industry. So the interviewer, uh, so the panel was selected in such a manner that the alum or the professor, so they also had a similar background. Okay. So that the questions which were asked were not uh, very out of the box. That is uh, uh, something which is not related to your field. And, mm -hmm. are, and the professor or the interviewer could judge you on the basis of your strengths or the field that you belong to. Okay. So for me, my interview mostly revolved around my work experience uh, and a bit about uh, the undergraduation or the chemical engineering that I've done. Also, a little, a small, uh, uh, some part of the interview was based on basic statistics or the basic mathematics okay. that uh, of 11th or 12th standard. Mm -hmm. So that was all about my interview. Experience. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Oh well, uh, I think Jayan summed it up the, pro the entire process more or less. Uh, but I should I should clearly say this that uh, the interview selection process or the whole PI uh, process at at SOM IIT Bombay is one of the most streamlined. If I could if I could if I could claim that compared to other colleges, you wouldn't be going to some hotel uh, where you would be taking these interviews. There's a very uh, the entire admissions team sits through and plans this process. Uh, trust me to each minute. Uh, uh, and then your panelists have also been selected in a way that one of the panelists will be our MBA professor, while the other one will be a professor from the engineering department too. Uh, while there could be or couldn't be a third one, depending upon the panel's availability. Uh, but the sole purpose or the sole goal of this panel is to test you, test, uh, test you in all of the skills or on all of the work areas that you have been involved all around right from your uh, graduation till to the point you have restarted the interview okay the, and uh, i think the most are uh, uh, one way to play around this interview is to is to of course drive it in a way that you would like to have it driven uh, but still uh, the, it's just just have just take a look at your cv and then uh, and then prepare those areas where you weren't very uh, very strong enough to because for sure i think this panel will test you all around across all the zones that you've been involved in okay. so for me in a, as an example I, I was an engineer so uh, uh, and a, a telecommunications engineer and the fair bit of uh, my interview ran around that area after that i've been working in it uh, uh, and then and then some part of the interview ran very technical even on the it it aspect of it too uh, and and the third uh, and the third panelist was was very much uh, willing to add it, uh, find out my intent to pursuing an MBA. Okay. So once I was able to convince all three of them or at least two of them, then I think you have your uh, uh, you have your slot or you have your impre uh, impression made over there. Right. Right. Okay. Yes, Mohit. Yeah. Modi no. told us about the kind of questions that were asked, but yeah, anything in particular you want to talk about? No, well, they covered the most of the part, uh, but uh, additionally, right, uh, if it's an online experience, which hasn't been for the past year, yeah. uh, there's one additional round of uh, VAT. You need to, there's a written ability test yeah. of around half an hour. 
uh, prior to your interview and as rightly said your tag so relevant questions are asked yeah. this one thing peculiar about uh, sgm som interview is that it's quite a comprehensive interview it can go around for me it was uh, around 55 minutes or so okay. right so they generally it's a trend uh, that they generally don't interrupt you or uh, they need not ask you a very short answer question they like to get your opinion on it and a more application oriented for any field let's say you are interested in machine learning they are more interested on the business aspect of it oh. where did you implement in your work ex Hmm. So any question that I was being asked that uh, there was a cross question, have you implemented any workex? What's your opinion on it? Okay. So th- it's a more of an opinion standpoint, not from any uh, generally GK tech type of questions are generally not asked. Uh, yeah, that's the whole trend. And as told that uh, there there are high chances there will be one ITV professor, so he okay. will uh, test you very conceptually from your undergrad background. Hmm. So both your management and technical skill sets are checked. Okay. lastly answering the question of diversity as uh, clearly mentioned by jain you need a four years of undergrad degree or a three years of undergrad plus master or any other professional course okay. so yes we do have a few of uh, non engineer backgrounds uh, from medical field which have five year undergrads okay. uh, and also architectures uh, architects who have uh, who also have i think five years of undergrad course so, yeah okay Uh, uh how long was your interview jen how did how long did it last so for uh, so for me my interview was around 35 to 40 minutes okay and yours sai uh 50 minutes 52 okay. minutes okay 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 yeah uh, so let's take a few questions uh, before moving to the next section um i just want to know if literature post graduate student can apply for iit bombay a 3 plus 2 degree yes right Yeah, you guys have already answered that. Yeah, after a work experience of more than two point five years, can I still expect questions on my academics? Uh, who would like to take? Uh, Sai. Yeah, sure. I think uh, by the time I was giving this interview, I still had two point five years of experience. Uh, it's fine that if you if you weren't able to answer all of the questions, I sure didn't. Uh, I had certain misses too. Uh, but it's just uh, they just brushed uh, brushed to the basics of the course that you act. Actually graduated, so maybe just just take out that old textbooks, dust them out, go through the index, and then some basic definitions or conceptual ideas will will do good. It's fine if you couldn't answer it and say I I cannot recall the question rather than sitting uh, silent at the interview. So that's a uh, how do you handle that uh, saying a no is is one part of it that could be tested too. Okay, can freshers expect a selection in SJSAM? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, of course. Yes, of course. any batch that has has a good amount of freshers into their uh, uh, mix. So if you could even visit any of the placement reports or summer uh, summer internships report, there is a this is there is a huge uh, the pie chart indicates a ma- major section of the students are are actually freshers. Okay. So that that's fine. I mean, uh, yeah, it's still you still have your uh, chance at SOM if you're a fresher. Okay, so uh, that okay, just to just to state of fact, if you go to the recent uh, batch profile, the batch dynamics, I think so. There's close to twenty percent of freshers uh, in the recent uh, batch. So. Recent batch, as in uh, the as in the currently those who are oh, in first year. First year. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's now move to the next section, which is all about academics. So. Um, uh, Let's talk a little bit about what was your first day and first week there uh, like, as in you know um, anything in particular, uh, and uh, how the experience was at SOM. So, uh, who would like to start? Uh, yeah, maybe Sai, and then Jayan, then Mohit. Oh well, uh, okay. The first day, uh, I, I was. I, I should say I was, I was in all of the campus. Uh, I I still remember the first thing I checked out is a huge ground and the and a very big swimming pool, oh. uh, and, the, and there's also an uh, there's also an uh, uh, there's there's a lot of sports facilities and that's what I was I was I was amazed of and, uh, not that I'm necessarily a sports person sports person but still I was in awe of things I could do and there were some language courses. uh uh especially in japanese and also some uh, french and german courses too that the classes were going on while, while i was there for the first day 
so i, I felt really uh, very excited to be there my first week uh, i should say it was it was it was very interesting uh, it, it 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 gets on very soon on to you uh, on, on to us uh, we have been able to uh, get in uh, get in some interesting conversations with our seniors some activities from our seniors were really taken up uh, it, it was a very yeah in the entire span of the first week it was a very intense intense week i should say but still a very interesting one and at the end of the first week of course that uh, that intense week was also accompanied by a very huge party welcoming us into the into the campus so that's that's my first week i still remember very vividly because of a uh, because of the first time experience and i was so awe in of in, in of the campus at the, at the, yeah. okay yeah uh, jen so for us since our batch was the first one that would uh, that experienced the online classes so since i already had a background where i was working from home uh, from uh, from my previous organization so therefore uh, online classes or online uh, induction week was a bit easy but i would say that uh, the first week as in the entire induction week is packed uh, so well as in the different clubs or the faculty conversations or the island talks so they are placed so strategically on in the entire day that it uh, in the first week itself you get the feel that what the next two years are going to be like so uh, for me it was uh, in the in the initial phase it was a bit overwhelming as it would be for any uh, as any student who is again going from the corporate to the student life and since it was an online experience so that kind of was a new thing that we all were experiencing okay. but i would say that uh, all all big all uh, although there were these limitations but still the seniors or the faculties made sure that the uh, the new students or the new batch that is entering so they are welcomed and uh, so certain small things like assigning a buddy from the from your batch itself and from the next batch as well and also since ours was the first uh, first online experience so just as in a, as in a hostel you will be having separate wings where you would be interacting and you would be kind of make a small knit of a small close knit friends so for us uh, our seniors made sure that we had virtual wings where we would be a group of individuals were tagged as a virtual wing and they were able to interact as in they were similar as in a hostel wing you would be interacting even after the classes or even after your official working hours so they made sure that through zoom calls or through other modes of communication so you are able to interact and have a good amount of interaction in the first week itself okay uh mohit you want to add anything or do i ask you another question Uh, yeah, just uh, adding means more or less. Me and Jayanth had the same experience yeah. online. Uh, in, uh, I'll just quickly sum it up. So in the first week and the second week, you basically get accustomed to all the clubs and committees, the professors, the alum, and you have industry stalwarts uh, coming and encouraging you how the next uh, two years would be. So to sum it up, uh, the first induction week uh, basically gives you a flavor of the upcoming two years okay. that you have to face. Okay. Okay, Mohit. Uh, this question is for you. Why, uh, why an MBA from SJM SOM at Bombay? Uh, yeah, sure. What is so unique about it? Okay. Correct. Correct. So, uh, see, there are multiple factors. If we go around the Google, yeah. uh, the one that is highlighted is ROI factor, right? Yeah. Yeah. But what I need to say that it's not the only factor, right? Uh, you're giving in uh, two years of your uh, career uh, into an MBA. There are multiple other factors. So, lot, no, but like they are. Yeah, it matters a lot. So just to give you a flavor, just to give a context, I had calls from IFT Delhi, MDI, a uh, few other old IMs, yeah. and, and uh, yeah, also. Yeah, correctly. So, uh, in fact, from our batch also, there are quite a few students who have left old times or MDI or similarly placed colleges. So, okay. what is peculiar about SGM SOM? Firstly, is the IT tag, yeah, which is uh, it's not only IT; it's the IT Bombay tag. Yeah. Secondly, it's a uh, place in the financial capital of the India, right, Mumbai. So, the whole uh, 
Uh, thing about placement. Secondly, the after ROI, the most important thing is placement. So if you uh, compare the placement report, so it's uh, probably it's among the top eight or nine in the country, yes. right? So it's yeah. even exceeding the old times. Uh, and the second factor is generally when you join a college, you see how fast it has been growing since last five years or so. That's yeah. a very important factor. So yeah. if you take that into factor, it's one of the fastest rising. B schools and off late, I think so. If I'm correct, hundred percent placements, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And off late, I think so. Other ITs are also starting. IT Guwahati has started this year. So this whole blend of techno managerial skill set is uh, quite in demand in industry. Okay. So yeah, that is. These are the few factors that I can speak okay. of. Rest, okay. Jayant and Sai would. Yeah, Jayant and Sai, you want to add anything? What is so unique, or why did you guys choose uh, IIT Bombay for your MBA? Uh, well, uh, his Mohit actually summed it up uh, more or less. But maybe just to cycle it back a bit more is that, yeah, IIT Bombay is 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 is, is, is an MBA just equivalent to any other MBA. I think from the top uh, from the top six colleges or any of the old IIMs MBA that you would get to. It 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 it's just it's just that silent engine which perform which which delivers uh, each and every year without much of a marketing uh, to be done around it. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, if if you are someone who would who are, who's more concerned about Results and and if your profile is actually seem to be fit into the core strength areas of IIT Bombay, I think one should definitely pick it up. Okay. Yeah, Jen, do you want to add anything, or we can move to the next question? So just a small addition from my side that uh, one thing is the small smaller batch size as compared to the, the other colleges or other institutions. So since it's it has a smaller batch size, so Although it affects the it affects the placements and the figures as well, because you have a limited pool of students, so you get get a better opportunity. But also in terms of the the bond that you develop. So uh, since you only have a small group of students, so you know everyone, which I don't feel would be the case with if you have around five hundred or six hundred students in your class. So since we have a limited pool, so everyone knows everyone. And that kind of develop a nice close net bond. Is there any particular specialization that SGM Song is famous for? Uh, well, if I could just name uh, uh, a couple of strength areas where SGM Song is really good at producing, are uh, one around operations and sub uh, and supply chain, and the two is being also the technology side as side of it uh, is is really very good. Uh, and so I'm really also has some very good professors from finance too, despite the where I'm not sure even if it's a well-known uh, aspect in around in the in the students arena at this time of at this point of time. But SOM has its own fund that is being managed by the students of SOM itself. And that that in fact has beaten many of the fund managers too. So oh. so so yeah, to be to be fair enough, I think uh, I, I think most mostly some some would be able to deliver the placements that the batch really intends to get into it's all about your preferences taken into and it's lower batch batch size or batch limit what you'd say it says it, it, it used to have hardly 100 students when i was studying there and and even if 10 percent of the students are interested in one specific domain some could able some could be able to get the companies for that specific for that small set of people so that's that's in a way it's its strength and in a way also because of that small size it's not getting the the limelight that it actually deserves to be when it's compared to other old times <laughs> okay um okay the, let's take few questions um I'm a under uh, I'm an undergraduate of a three year course from SRCC Delhi University with one year work experience. Am I eligible for uh, SJM SOM? Uh, Mohit? Yes, that's what I correctly. Yeah. Uh, he or she is having the three years of undergrad degree. Oh. So unfortunately, not not at this point of time. Okay. Because either uh, he or she must uh, be doing a master's. To, yeah. yeah. Currently, this is the criteria. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm from operations background and I want to do marketing. So is IIT Bombay good for me? Um, who's going to answer? Mohit? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I will take it along. Yeah. Uh, yes. So see, uh, first of all, as in as uh, the thing about IIT Bombay is you get a degree of general management, yeah. right? If you are interested right now, they are started. If you take certain credits, it could be a specialization in operations or finance 
and any other course uh, so yeah no one is stopping you there are quite a few freshers those who are going in marketing domain so yeah it's not a deterrent factor okay and also additionally yeah. uh, there's an additional uh, thing of i triple dp that is basically the iit bombay btech uh, students who are currently in the third year they are given an option to extend uh, their whole journey from 4 uh, to 5 years that is basically btech btech plus mba from sgm so okay. so yeah, that's also okay uh, jain this question is for you uh why am why am i unable to capture the questions in di even though i'm pretty decent in quants so for that i would say that there may be possibility that although the basic concept uh, the for quant uh, for quantitative aptitude you have questions which are based on certain formulas or certain concepts okay. whereas for di it may be a chance that uh, certain sets or certain questions they are mostly on certain basic concepts of thinking as in you need to think about a little or uh, think about certain concepts maybe uh, I, i would say i would recommend that you can uh, go ahead with solving certain puzzles or sudoku before uh, attempting to before attempting the questions of the di so that also is that kinds of helps you to think on the toes as in things faster whereas for quant you will be working or you will be having certain formulas in mind or certain concepts whereas for di you do not have a set pattern or set concepts that these will be the concepts and questions would be solved using this so certain puzzles i would say and a continuous practice that would be things that could help okay uh, is there any student yeah you Okay. Yeah, maybe Kalyan. Yeah, I I would like to add just a bit more about here. Yeah, I I think in the first attempt when I've given CAT, this is this was exactly my problem, and I think it was it was twenty twenty fifteen CAT. That's when the LRDI started to get a little tricky for CAT in uh, exam in itself. Uh, I I I was pretty good at Quant too. I scored ninety nine percentile in in Quant section both the years I have taken CAT. But LRDI in the first year was a total total mess. Uh, uh, but what I what I tried to do was Uh, what i did what uh, what wrong have i done was actually getting stuck at one particular set uh, as an lr set or a di set the second day i tried to uh, i tried to resolve it and then uh, i think even the cat got a little trickier too they they're now not just looking at at one set as a whole day. even in a single set there are questions that you can easily crack through and there are questions that might take time uh so this this is what i've done better is if i'm getting stuck somewhere for more than say 3 minutes or 4 minutes in an exam i would i would just leave that at the end and then capture the easier sets that are that everyone else would have solved and then come back to it later on so that really helped me cracking the lrdi section too so chances are you're still pretty good at it it's just that you, you it, at that moment you are you are unable to leave that question uh, uh, aside and then move ahead so maybe try that and and, and right. one one should be able to get through okay uh, is there any student exchange program uh, yes kalyan i've been to one for the oh, last okay. semester yeah. can you can you speak a little bit about it well yes I, i think there is also a student body for that that handles this exchange program so it's also a, a entirely student managed body uh, all of my i think uh, most of our batchmates they did they did, they got a chance to explore different colleges across europe uh, uh, also also they've been to china and other part, other eastern east asian developed nations too uh, i i myself have been to istanbul uh, 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 coach university in turkey istanbul so yeah. so uh, it uh, people also managed to get scholarships too for doing their exchange semesters uh, well uh, these these scholarships are offered by these exchange univers- the universities themselves where the colleges that we are choosing to go through on top of it iit bombay itself also uh, offers a uh, 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 sponsors your exchange program a part of your expenses in your exchange program okay. Okay. So, in fact, for going for going to my exchange program, SOM itself has offered me one lakh in return to me on top of the fee that I have paid, and yes. and a few of the students they also managed the scholarship offered by the universities, the exchange university itself too. So, so some of them actually had a return by going to an exchange program. So, so it was it was a pretty interesting experience. But then, but then yeah, I like my exchange semester. Uh, uh mohit and jayant can you guys talk a little bit about the clubs and committees at sjm song 
yeah uh, yeah sure yeah. so uh, there are multiple committees uh, as in for every academic domain there is a committee and apart from that uh, these are called clubs apart from that there are committees right from i uh, i think so it technology uh, then you have the cpr the public relations committee obviously the placement team and all okay. so you will get ample opportunities out of, uh, of yeah i am part of the operations club operations. Uh, right so i'm part of the operation club and uh, the thing is that is pe- peculiar is again the batch size so for a small batch size there are ample amount of clubs it's made sure that each of the students get an exposure through a club or committee uh, it's made sure that no one is left behind right in other colleges from what i had interactions a certain chunk of students are uh, not a part of either of the com- any committee but here this is not the case okay so everybody is part of some committees uh... yes yes right there are multiple interviews a round of interviews uh, two three round of interviews taken by our seniors they decide which is the best fit for you okay. and what uh, your interest lies jayant you are part of any clubs and committee of course you are a member of some committee Yeah, yeah. So I've been part of the marketing club as well as the public relations team. Okay, so you are interested more in marketing. So how is the marketing placements? At we will be coming to the next section, which is all about internship and placements. But since you're talking about marketing, so uh, what uh, is is um, is the placement good for marketing? Uh, how and <laughs> where exactly is SJM SOM when it comes down to marketing? Uh, yeah. So for marketing, I would say that uh, since it is the field, uh, it is the stream or the domain that does not actually requires any prior ex- prior experience. So mostly the freshers or the students who come are fascinated towards marketing. So I was one of them. So I had quite some interest in marketing, although I had a brief operations background. So as uh, so, uh, JMSM provided me, as I've been part of the club as well. so it provided me ample opportunities and uh, in the beginning itself in the first semester you have few marketing courses so that provides you with a great exposure with uh, uh, towards this domain and as far as the placements are concerned i would say that uh, although as compared to operations or consulting the the uh, placements for marketing are gradually increasing but are not at par with the uh, with both the older streams for marketing sjmsom is making its niche okay. but i would say that uh, the students who have interest so we have certain opportunities a uh, limited opportunities for marketing but the students who have interest have gone uh, into the companies that they wish for or that they trend for okay yeah uh, um sai you are a member of any committee You? Yes, yes, Kalin. I was, I was heading the consulting club uh, okay. of Som. So. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Let's take one question. What are the opportunities in marketing placement in uh, product manager, brand manager in FMCGs? Uh, are they visiting the campus? Yes, yeah, sure. So uh, I will take it up. Yeah, sure. See, uh, one thing about peculiar about Som. is that see uh, there are two ways to get into a firm uh, firstly it's the placement process apart from that there are corporate competitions if okay. you make through them so there are quite a lot of uh, brand managers who are in uh, from sgm som and working in uh, major fmcg firms oh. so definitely this is particular segment that is picking up because iit technology and marketing doesn't go hand in hand but yeah if you see the last few placement reports maybe of 4 uh, to 5 years so marketing that pie chart has explained it's picking up okay. and there are quite a lot of students who are either going through the corporate competitions or there are definitely very good fmcg companies coming up for uh, marketing niche profiles okay. so there's in sgm some the advantage is the batch size again uh, there are certain section of students who are going for marketing uh, if you stay if you have a close knit group among them uh, and you target those companies you will definitely get to yeah and we have very really amazing professors of marketing you will be fascinated by them mm, okay yeah so when you're talking about professors uh, any particular faculty member any particular professor any particular class that's your favorite mohit you can start then jayant and then Sai, you can talk about it if you want to. Yeah, favorite professor, sure, favorite sure. class. Uh, sure. So I would like to mention Pankaj Dutta. So, so we have in the first semester course so a dis- uh, decision models and management. Basically, you learn about the optimization techniques and all. 
it's a very important tool uh, for both the consulting and the operation supply chain domain in fact it can be also utilized in the finance background so it's a bit uh, starts heavy course uh, you need uh, to have a mathematical background but definitely pankaj datta sir uh, make sure that every one of the student who is uh, present in his class uh, understand that difficult course uh, so that's one thing i would like to point out yeah jayan Yes. Yeah. So for me, I would say that since I mentioned my interest for marketing, so in the first term, it, in term itself, uh, we got to experience the marketing management one course by Professor R. T. Kalbo. So uh, I would say that uh, the the subject itself is so interesting, but if it is taught only through the textbook or uh, the notes, it's a note or notes or the slides, so it gets a little boring. But for man. Uh, man has a well defined set of uh, case studies and real life examples teamed up with small quizzes or small interactions or activities throughout the entire term so that uh, actually helped quite elevate the experience for the subject and also it kind of gave a very uh, streamlined direction so since when uh, any any student joins an mba marketing is basically intrinsic so since we have quite some exposure with advertisements or brands so marketing is something that everyone has interest for so that helps kind of gauge that in that subject uh, helps gauge that interest and uh, streamlines in the right direction okay sai oh well it's been a while since i've graduated but i i i guess i remember uh, one of the best professors i uh, one of the best classes that i've sit in is the start of uh, svd and rao's or svd nageshwar rao's it's a professor of finance and uh, the reason why i remember this so clearly is we used to record his classes i'm not sure if he's aware of it uh, <laughs> uh, probably he wouldn't he wouldn't oh, you know <laughs> uh, uh, he wouldn't you know come back at me with some copyright uh, <laughs> copyright okay so but then yeah uh, uh, he he is he's really a very dynamic professor and very strong at finance and 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 one of the one of the good reasons why so uh, still able to produce some students that are good at finance like at uh, like like at at, at at a really good level and and i think he has been his exposure or his, his credibility is to, towards teaching that course has also been phenomenal and the best part of it is he he started out as an engineer as a mechanical engineer and the extent of uh, finance knowledge he has right now is 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 it's also visiting faculty at iim ahmedabad too so so uh, so i was totally in awe of him and i wouldn't want to miss any of the uh, nuances of his classes and there was a batch of people who were interested in finance with me who were all recording his classes and would sit back together and then play them on our cell phones once we go back to our hostel rooms <laughs> okay okay uh, so now uh, let's move to the next section internships and placements so uh, let's talk about the summer internship and uh, if uh other few mohit and jan uh, you'll be talking about the summer internships and also uh, if you want to talk about your ppl yeah mohit uh, or jan who would like to um, mohit yeah so i'll begin jan will get forward so uh, yeah summer internship process uh, first is the selection process so it happens around somewhere around in the month of october uh, yeah so it's as mentioned uh, due to the batch size it's quite a short duration in which the whole batch gets placed so uh, regarding my experience i interned with johnson and johnson in the medical devices division so i had uh, due to covid it was the whole experience was online so it was a two month long uh, experience project okay. it was in the supply chain domain for me oh. uh, yeah i was able to get a pre placement interview through that and apart from that uh, there are multiple corporate competitions uh so in sum the one additional advantage is that you get a lot of time for live projects okay. right so uh, that's uh, winter internship per se is not something that you have to do but uh, definitely there is a winter break around 1 to 1.5 months so quite a lot of students uh, do their winter internship in their domain of interest that builds up their profile and that helps them stand out and myself have mm-hmm. did three live projects uh, apart from my summer internship during my two years of uh, mba so yeah that is the whole experience and uh, also from corporate competition multiple corporate competitions in which exclusively top 10 top 15 b schools 
are only allowed to participate and sgm som is uh, mostly in all of them and uh, yeah uh, jaint will carry on yeah so for me my summer internship experience was with sun pharmaceuticals in the supply chain domain so for me as well it was an uh, offline experience an online experience and uh, apart from that i would say that the entire experience uh, for the preparation so that starts uh, from the that starts quite early uh, uh, after the induction week as your classes begin so along with those classes your senior uh, your seniors kind of uh, uh, tries to prepare you for the summer internship or the summer internship interviews as well so that is a gradual process around for around 2 1.5 to 2 months before so they make sure that before you actually face the interviews so you have quite some experience through the mock interviews that your seniors take or the alums take and for the people as in uh, certain freshers so they uh, so many people are the ones who would be facing the interviews for the first time as in the corporate interviews so they the mock interviews make sure that you have that experience and you are not stuck in front of the company or the in front of the interviews so for me the entire internship experience at sun pharma was uh, a quite a learning experience although it was a remote one but the project or the deadlines were well defined and the entire process was quite smooth as companies also are quite adapting to the online experience tell me uh, how much of your internship experience affected your uh, final placement so i can start and then mohit can continue so for me my internship experience was in the supply was in the operations or the supply chain domain so the uh, and for the finals as well i would say the final interview mostly revolves around your summer internship project hmm. so for students who would be going for their summer internships or who would be entering the b school i would say that it is very necessary that you make sure that the things or the project you are part of at your summer internship so you are well versed with every concept or every uh, or every nuance that is involved so if you are in operations or if you are in marketing so the concepts you are applying there should you should be well versed of and apart from that the employers in the final interview are also concerned about that apart from your conceptual uh, understanding of the project what else or what people's in uh, people sense or in people impact you have learned during your summer internship so although it was an online experience for us and we had quite a limited interaction with people during summer internship but still you have to have certain learnings which are not only related to your project but certain things as management or uh, that defines you in a holistic sense okay. so you need to showcase that as well during the final interview okay mohit yeah sure uh... so uh, as mentioned by jain summer internship process basically is at the heart and soul of the whole two years of mba it's a very important crucial juncture uh, for any M- mba student oh. so yes as far as final process is considered uh, uh, it's first thing it's not necessary that the domain in which you have done your summer internship uh, you are binded to that domain for your finals for example i did in supply chain i'm i f- i'm finally placed in a consulting firm yeah uh, so yeah. what they intend to check is that first thing is your sincerity they get to know in maybe in a four to five statements whether how you have done the project or what was your background and how it all panned out okay. so yeah uh, seriousness is one thing that is as mentioned by jain that is taught to us by our seniors also how to go about it right uh, so yeah internship is not a binding factor for your domain but it's very important factor to judge you in okay. your final interviews okay um sai uh, can you take us through the placement process and also tell us how exactly you landed up with my as a management co- uh, consultant with uh, pwc well sure sure kalani uh, uh, i think even mohit and jayant could add to it because the process might have changed a, a while since i have i've graduated with all the uh, virtual classes that taking place but uh, 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 if i if i recall correctly yeah there is a day wise process to it too but then unlike uh, 
unlike the, uh, the other colleges, one key aspect of it is we uh, so actually doesn't rush through uh, placing these companies or placing uh, placing the students in, into these companies at once together. So they're actually planned. Uh, you would be asked for your you'd be asked for your dream company uh, and there is always uh, and, and if your skill set matches to that dream company uh, uh, and if the company really selects you you really have a good chance at a good shot at it because uh, 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 one thing that that's that I, I think we already established is that the lower batch size implies that uh, that particular domain interested people are also lower in number but the companies are still relatively uh, higher so as a key metric or if we can if we can just define it uh, that specific domain company to that specific interested students as a ratio, if you take, uh, uh, it, it's the highest in SOM compared to any other college. So that's an extra added benefit to you in terms of the competition that you would face. Uh, so, yeah, it, so now you can talk about probably your own uh, experience. Yeah, yeah, my own experience. I remember, yeah, uh, I've been placed uh, in one of the, I, I, I think I've been placed in one of the earlier days of the placement process itself. I've been placed with it. In fact, with a marketing company, uh, uh, I, I had worked with the organization for, for over one and a half year and have, re, uh, uh, and, and have recently made the shift into, uh, uh, yeah, into PwC as, an, as, an, as a senior consultant. Uh, 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 if I can speak to any, uh, on behalf of any of the friends that you have gone through, uh, uh, the process is more or less, like I mentioned, has always been standard. The companies that are uh, even in the final placements that, that arrive through uh, uh, doesn't actually driven by say what at what company have you interned with or so it, it depends on your credibility or your genuine interest into that company. So there's a whole set of preparation process that goes into uh, all the clubs or your seniors uh, uh, drive through this this process. There is an like like you know you see to these days that the data is a major aspect of going anywhere so there is a repository of data of the previous interviews and the previous uh, uh, knowledge that the SOM built up over over across uh, across their batches that will be fed to you uh, uh, and is also some sort of uh, preparation on your behalf is also expected out of you and 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 the companies actually uh, do measure this intent and uh, intent and one should be comfortably in uh, 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 and most uh, i think most of my batchmates did really make it into their into their dream company that they quoted which which you would be asked in the first week of your uh, of your joining so, so so that's that's a quick process for, uh, quick Quick info about my process from me. Uh, I, Mohit or Jayant, if you'd like to add anything that's more relevant to these days yeah. of that uh, process, that would be great. Anything? Yeah, Karin, the one thing that I want to highlight is uh, about the percentage of the PPUs. I think this, I will also reiterate that. So uh, this time we had close to 60% PPUs. So if you do a basic match, it's out of 110 odd students, it's hardly 50 odd students who would be nearly sitting for the final placements. Okay. So first of all, the PPU is a sort of a testament that uh, the how the industry, uh, the sort of nature they have for IT Bombay, right? Uh, so mostly all of the students nearly either get a PPI or a PPO. Yeah. And uh, as far as finals are considered, it's very nicely mentioned by Sai. Uh, we get a lot of we also uh, get to connect with alums. They also help us what is expected uh, from our uh, recruiters. So it's a very streamlined process. Uh, so yeah, that's. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so now let's move to the last section of the session, which is uh, photos from the gallery, from the campus. Uh, who would like to go first? Uh, Mohit, you have photos or Jayant, you have photos? Do you have photos? Oh, Mohit, would you like to go first? Okay, and then Sai, you also keep it ready. Sure. Uh, next, you will go. Uh, Jayant, yeah. I know you guys have the same uh, photos, no? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I would like to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so firstly, I'm quickly sharing my screen. Huh. So basically what I have are a few clicks from our campuses because huh. as mentioned, it was mostly yeah. online. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, this is uh, yeah. our batch photo shoot. Nice. Uh, we were lucky to visit. It's basically called the Song Wells. I would uh, connect yeah. with it yeah. very well. Uh, oh, yeah. So we yeah. had a few like it's uh, it's basically around sixty. Yeah. It's around eighty per seventy eighty percentage of our batch who were yeah. able to come to the campus last year. Okay. So we had a casual click. Oh. And next, uh, this is a view from our hostel, the boys' hostel in the second year. It's oh, basically wow. the Pawai Lake, yeah. right? Uh, 
this is uh, the boat house right uh, one of the most famous spots in iit bombay that you visit it's around i think so 3 or 4 am click uh, and this is one view from one of the hostel terraces okay uh, the this is a hostel and the mess where basically the second year students yeah. pg students stay so, so yeah this is basically a panoramic view of so the hostels are like what uh, for uh, where are the girls hostels is there any provision for girls hostels? yeah yeah there's a, there's a whole means hostel is never an issue in it bombay it's a separate oh. hostel for girls oh, yeah. and uh, for all the pg and ugs and in fact there's one more hostel that is coming up to ease out the whole oh, okay. to decrease the load among the students but the yeah, hostels will never be an issue in it bombay it's, okay. it's a huge huge campus means okay. 550 acres sort of so that is how is how is the party life uh, at the campus Uh, yeah, I, I won't be the right person to answer that. First of all, it's online, and secondly, I'm not That's much right. into it. Oh well, uh, well, we believe in work hard, party hard culture. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. Often, often times you find the night uh, uh, very long uh, out of the sessions or the work that one has to deliver, uh, both in aspects of your preparation towards placements or so. And and once the night is over, you would find always someone in the group saying it's it's still young, and then and then let's chip in into the Hira Nandani. That's just outside of the outside of the campus and. I, I I remember there have been days where where you know I pulled off a couple of nights uh, awake. Uh, one night was completely for working, and the other night was completely for partying. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good way to live. Wow, this is a very nice uh, photo, uh, Mohit. Yeah, it's basically yeah. Samir Hill. It's in the campus. You have to trek. Uh, okay. Few. Yeah. Okay. So that's the view you get. Yeah, nice. Very nice. This is all you have. Uh, yeah, basically, this is yeah. more or less what uh, we are able to click. Uh, so I would like, yeah. like Sai to go ahead. Oh well, uh, I haven't brought such such beautiful pics to look at. What I brought is more or less more or less what happens in a day to day life. I think it's only when 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 we miss something that's when we realize the beauty of it and then click around it. But uh, yeah, let me share my screen very quickly. Uh, since someone has asked about uh, uh since since the question was always about uh, a partying i've been yeah. able to get some pics around this yeah. okay i'll uh, just a second kalani i i'm figuring it out sharing my screen yeah, on an huh. yeah. hey what, what what is uh, this what is avenues in iit bombay it's the fest it's the b okay, school so fest uh, okay. and and why um, and and it's called as shastra buddhi in collaboration with avenues is that uh, no basically we have uh, this one uh, sponsor so it could have been a main sponsor but it's basically called the avenues and we have uh, specific themes each year it keeps okay. on changing okay okay yeah sai what's up Yeah, just a second. I have this MacBook that that limits every access. Just oh, give me a yeah. couple. <laughs> oh, Mac, Mac always has a problem with these things. Uh, so I'm guessing you won't be able to show photos. Uh, yes, but let me. Oh, can I? Uh, can I send this to you? And can you be sharing this, Kalyani? You can send it. Otherwise, you can send it to Mohit, or you can send it, or it's okay. I mean, you can. Can you click on any one photo and show us? Or oh, otherwise, it's all right because I've already seen like a beautiful campus photos by Mohit. Any favorite spot, Mohit and Jayan? You guys have any favorite spot? So for me, I so for me, uh, not going. Yeah, I'm not going too far from the hostel itself. So the hostel terrace has such beautiful view of the Pawai Lake. So that is something where. Uh, even in the evenings or the early mornings so the the view from there itself is very nice and people are allowed to drink on the roof <laughs> i'm asking <laughs> yeah it's an important question to be asked our, our attendees should know what all they can do wow i think uh, ha ek ek me click kar lo yeah we can see it well yes uh, this is this is one of the holy parties kalyan yeah. so so we uh, it's not just holy i think uh, i think i had to be celebrates all, almost all of the events so we 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 we've been able to celebrate sankranti we've been able to celebrate new year with uh, also holy yeah. very nice I, i'm sure any uh, I, i mean even even any 
anyone's self couldn't recognize them on a holy day here in this space just because of the sheer amount of joy or the or the huge crowd that we have and the colors on the faces no one could recognize anyone else that particular day it's just it's a, it's just a black day throwing throwing huge amounts of colors on each other's faces uh the next photo maybe i could share is since we are discussing about avenues yeah this was okay. this was our avenues uniform so yeah yeah okay so we were we were organizing this fest it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um it's a, it's one of a big fest that uh, that's important to iit bombay too so okay. it's a, yeah uh, so it, avenues it, is avenues is just for sjm song iit bombay or for iit as such uh, no it's it's just for sjm song it's a, it's a b school fest uh, but then uh, since we we I mean, you know, since one of the most prospective career choices after engineering is MBA, we do gain a lot of interest from engineers too uh, within IIT Bombay, uh, and there's a lot of footfall coming from there too. But usually, this avenues event also got, gathers a, a, a decent amount of footfall, not just from within IIT Bombay, also from within other MBA colleges in Mumbai. Uh, so just to add a small part on the fest side, so the mood and bigo which is Asia's uh, one of the largest fest. So uh, we as a part of the IT B ecosystem, so we get to organize or be part of the organizing teams for various uh, for various domains of the mood and bigo as well. And for and uh, we were the I think since we were the first ones to organize for the online fest. the online mood and bigo so we have been part of the uh, organizing teams for that as well okay yeah so I so on a similar the... note is the e cell also the entrepreneurship okay. cell so okay. it's a whole itb ecosystem mm -hmm. so once you are into it you are part of everything that happens around and in night right okay any any photos that shows the entrance to the campus no well i have had a classroom picture yeah. not the entrance uh, Yeah, show me your classroom photo. Yeah. Yeah, this okay. is. Yeah. Hmm. This is one of our classrooms. I think after our exam uh, closing, uh, just before going for our summer internships. So, uh, okay. so we were all happy because we were all uh, that the hectic that the notion of the first year is, is usually we are done with and. Jayan yeah, and Mohit, you guys have been able to sit in the class at all or not? Not exactly. Just what you have. And obviously, we have given the interviews offline. So at that point of time, we had. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Can you stop sharing if you've showed? Oh, this is also a class. Okay. Yeah. This is actually a guest lecture that we are sitting for. So. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think most of the people who would be taking the VAT PI will be sitting in one of these classrooms yeah. very soon. So. Uh, 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 I'm rising the curtains a bit earlier here, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm happy to share. Mm. Nice, very nice. Yeah. So I guess yeah. Any tip uh, before we wrap up? Uh, one tip each for our attendees who are basically preparing for CAT or preparing for PI interviews. Like because twenty one, they will be probably preparing for their PI interviews, and uh, twenty two, they'll be taking CAT. So yeah. uh we can start from mohit then sai then jayan yeah so yeah for cat aspirants uh, my advice oh yeah so my advice would be stick to the basics sometimes it happens that you try to solve a lot many questions difficult questions uh, uh that's while preparation while uh, giving the exam it's uh, cat is not about solving all the questions even if you solve around 55 to 60 percentage you are above 99 percentage Like an LRD, if you are able to attempt four or even three and a half sets uh, judiciously, you are at ninety nine percent. Well, it's, right. it's don't take it the heart of it if you are not able to solve any question during the exam. Regarding some, those who will be appearing in the interview, first of all, uh, best of luck. Secondly, stay true to yourself. See, uh, it's a long duration, as mentioned, forty minutes. It could go around. so they will get a hang of it whether you are just making it up or it's genuinely whatever you are speaking mm -hmm. okay uh jan one tip so for cat aspirants i would say that make sure that your preparation is continuous that is and after every mock exam it is very essential to analyze 
your exam and make sure that the mistakes you've done previously are not repeated in the next exam. So as important is your, uh, is your mock, uh, similarly, the analysis of the mock is uh, equally important. Uh, for the people appearing for the interviews, I would say that uh, try to drive the interview towards your strengths and make sure that, uh, and it is not essential that you answer each and every question that the panel asks for. Uh, there may be chances that people who are having uh, work experience, so they will not be very versed with all the concepts of their undergraduation. So it is all right, but you need to, uh, you need to present to the interviewers that you are true to what you are presenting, as Mohit mentioned. So that is something uh, which is quite essential in any of these school interviews. Okay. Yeah, Sai? Oh, well, uh, for the CAT aspirants, I would just say uh, the same thing. Uh, I would just reiterate the same thing just in a different tone is that CAT is just some, is something just like a T20 cricket game if there are any cricket followers over here. You wouldn't just like to hit every ball uh, out of the park, but you would just like to hit the easier ones or the wrong ones very, very soon. Uh, and if, just remember that if you weren't able to, I'll say it, it's it's quite natural to get demotivated when you weren't able to crack the first initial set of questions that you picked. Just realize that uh, along with you, rest all of the uh, population or rest all of the aspirants who are taking CAT are also exactly going through the same thing. So essentially that could mean it, it's a difficult pitch to play on. So uh, in such a case, your accuracy also comes into the play the more it is. Just, just leave out all the noise around and try to get as many questions as you can get. Just take that emotions apart and be in the, in the exam and play it according to your strengths. Okay. Uh, for the for the bad PI aspirants, I, I would say one thing, uh, uh, understand yourself before getting into the interview, understand your reasons of why you would want to do an MBA and be uh, be convincing about it. And that, and, and that sort of answer should be driven by your desire to do an MBA rather than making up an answer for it in the exam. So that preparation is very key. Uh, I, I'm sure there, there would be a lot of your uh, uh, guides and teachers who would be helping you understanding your drive, sit through them. And this is answering that why MBA is actually the question that, that actually makes a difference in your interview and that will actually drive your interview and further questions. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. So that's all we have for today for this session. And uh, I would like to thank all the attendees and thank you, Jen. Thank you, Mohit. And thank you, Sai Teja. Thank you so much for being here on Sunday and uh, answering and answering all the questions. And of course, you know, sharing those beautiful photos of the campus. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Kalani. And all the best to everyone. Good luck to everyone. Have a nice year. All the best.